I love Makefiles and I've been using it a lot for my software projects over the years, but it's only been the recent few months that I have been using it extensively with the command line only and not IDs for embedded programming to flash in the firmware for various kinds of microcontrollers. And I have uh, come to uh, sort of have a defined set of commands, make commands uh, that I use on various different types of boards and microcontrollers, but the commands are the same, uh, whereas the underlying command line execution is different. So let me explain what um, I mean by that. So today I have three different boards. This is the quintessential Arduino Uno with uh, Atmega 328P. This is the Wemos D1 Mini with ESP8266. And this is the Adafruit Featherboard with NRF52. Now for all these uh, three boards, I will be using a very simple blinky LED firmware to flash in, but the make commands will all be the same. And for this, I'm using the GNU make file and uh, this website has very, very good um, extensive documentation on this. But there are two sections that I want to zoom into. One is the phony target because I will not be really using a file name, uh, but rather just the command name. And the other one is variables that I will be using for my make files. So why don't we go ahead and start with the Arduino Uno uh, board. And uh, for this, we will also be using two command line programs. One is called the Arduino CLI. And the other one is to lint C a based type of firmware such as Arduino called CPP lint. So uh, this is how my blinky LED for Arduino looks like. Super simple. And uh, why don't we go ahead and look at the make file. This is the structure I have already made. So if we come to our command line and type uh, Arduino CLI and then version, uh, which I have already installed with the instructions on uh, uh, the Arduino CLI GitHub repository, I have already installed it. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is actually find the board. So for this, I can do a list all, but there'll be just too many of them. So I'm just going to grab it uh, specifically for Arduino Uno. And this is the board that we're going to be using. So I'm going to come back here and uh, populate the board variable in Makefile. And uh, now let me connect uh, the USB to my laptop, the Arduino Uno board to my laptop. And uh, next, what I'm going to do is uh, try to detect the port. So for this, I'll just do board and list and it will try to discover through my USB port. And this is the port that I should be using and I'll come back and populate it. So why don't we go ahead and first do the linting, which is once again based off the CPP lint. And uh, for this, the command is simply CPP lint extensions equals to INO. And I'm just gonna uh, sort of put in the file uh, extension name. Now you can definitely execute this uh, on the command line itself. It will have some error, or you can also do make lint, which will also execute the CPP lint command. So there is uh, this uh, error that comes up that I do not want it to flag. So I will simply go ahead and add a filter equals to minus this. And let's run make lint again. And there you see it's passing. The next thing that I'm going to do is uh, have the compile command. For this, I'll be using Arduino CLI compile. And the option is FQBN for the name of the board. And since I have already defined it as a variable, uh, so I'll just put in the board as the variable and then dot slash to pick up the file. So why don't we try make all? And uh, there you see it is already compiled. And finally, what I'll try to do is flash it in. So for this, it will also still be Arduino-CLI upload. And uh, yes, I need to specify the board once again and the port as well. In this case, it's already defined. And dot slash. Why don't we try it? Make flash. And if I come back uh, to the camera, you'll see that uh, it is already flashed and the blinky LED is right there. Now, 
If I list all the files now, there'll be some residual files such as the .elf and the .hex. And this is where the clean command comes in. So let me just quickly put in rmrf the .hex file as well as the .elf file. As you can see in the text editor also, it is right there. And once I do a make clean, it will clean these two files again. And when I list it, those files are not there. Now, the beautiful thing about make is I can actually uh, have a default command. And in this case, I'm going to do linting, compiling, flashing, and cleaning all at the same time. And let me quickly also define the phony targets because these are not the name of files. This is just my complete make file for Arduino Uno Blinky LED. It has lint all flash clean and then a default command. The good thing is all I need to do is not really remember the nitty gritty of the specific commands that I need to run on the command line, but just simply make. And this will do the linting, the compiling, the flashing, and even the cleaning of the file. And that's it. I, and I can just edit the file and just run make once again. Why don't I show you the same thing in a different uh, platform, ESP8266, the second board this time. I will not really go ahead and type out because uh, it is a very, very similar concept. As you can see, I have the lint all flash and clean. Uh, let's go ahead and try to detect uh, or rather find uh, the board here. And I'll try to grep it by ESP8266 and Wemos D1 Mini here. So this is exactly the board that I've used in my make file, D1 Mini rather, right here, the first one. Let me connect it uh, to the laptop. If you try to list a board without any connecting, you see it will try to discover it and it will basically be an empty list. So now I will plug in my USB and try to list it once again. And there you see, this is the VMOS D1 Mini. And I have written that exact port name in the make file. As for the CPP Lint, it is exactly the same uh, because it is still C-based firmware. For compile, uh, Arduino compile command also supports ESP266. So it is very, very similar. And so is the Arduino CLI. But for the residual files, it is .bin and .elf. The rest of the structure of the make file is exactly the same, even though the microcontroller is different. So I'm going to come here and try to flash in the make command. So as you see, it will do the linting, it will do the compiling, and now it is trying to upload it. And finally, even uh, clean the residual files. Switch to the camera view. Here you can see the blinky LED is flashed right onto the Wemos D1 Mini even though um, all I needed to remember is make. Now I don't even have to remember the exact command line. So lastly, just as a simple comparison, why don't we go ahead and check out the NRF52 board. For this, uh, once again, the board and the port uh, is something I defined right at the top. So I will plug in the NRF52 now. And for list all, I will do a grep of NRF52. And uh, this is the board I'm looking for. If you go to the Adafruit page where I bought the development board from, this is uh, actually matching. The chip name is actually matching this one. So I've put that in. And uh, finally, after connecting the USB port, I will detect the port name. The port uh, name is different this time. And I'm just going to copy this into my make file. And the structure of the make file is exactly the same as the other two, the Arduino and the ESP8266. I have a lint. Once again, it is still using CPP because it is still a C variant uh, firmware. The compile is also the same, but the flash is slightly different. In this case, you have to use a DFU uh, based command line, which um, Adafruit has developed. So it is uh, based on NRF52 uh, a modified version of Nordic's NRF Util, which Adafruit has kindly uh, done. And uh, if I come to the last section of the README, this is how they tell you to convert a hex file into a DFU package file. So I actually need 
two different commands. So as you can see, the flash command here is different, but I just need to define it once and that's it. Because to me, it's just make flash. So um, I need to also define the port here, which I've already defined up there. As for the cleaning as well, it is slightly different because it will create three different types of residue files, the elf, the hex, and the zip. Once I make it work, that's it. That's all I need to remember. Uh, why don't we try to flash in the blinky LED into NRF52 this time with only the command make. That's it. And uh, now if I switch back to the camera view, there you see the blinky LED is working. So there you have it. Uh, three different make files for three different development boards targeting three different microcontrollers, but the make commands are the same, which is the lint, all flash and clean. And it just makes my development process so much faster. I do not have to remember the exact command required for a specific microcontroller. Uh, it has really, really made it not even uh, cognitively easy for me, but also the development process much faster. Just make flash, make flash, that's it. And uh, so how do you use uh, the make files for embedded programming? Uh, let's share and uh, thank you so much.